Hey guys, um, quick update for subsystem targeting. Um, I am going to release a 2.1 update which alters slightly um, the way capital ships select subsystems to target. Um, so mostly the mod was designed with the thought of having small and medium ships flying around um, and picking off targets. Um, that doesn't work very well with large and extra large ships. Um, it's just not very effective to target engines and if they're on the far side of the ship to try to send um, your destroyer up back to the far side. It just, I mean, it's too slow, doesn't work very well. Um, so instead, it's going, what it's going to do is it's going to enforce um, a line of sight requirement. So if the subsystem, um, a subsystem within the class that's selected is available, um, to be shot when you issue the order, it will continue on and, and start trying to shoot that subsystem. If not, um, it will say, I don't have any valid targets, and cancel the order. Um, just like, uh, just as if all the, all the targets have been destroyed and consequently no valid or targets. Um, so, small and medium craft will continue doing exactly what they did before, so they'll seek out and try to pick off all the turrets. Um, or whatever subsystem you select, capital ships will be bound to um, targeting things that they can actually see so that they're not trying to fly all over the place. Um, that's not true for capital ships targeting stations. Um, for targeting the station modules, um, there it can still reposition and fly around to try to attack it. Um, it is true for trying to target station turrets, however. So you can line up in your siege line, um, ask everyone to, to shoot uh, large turrets to, to try to reduce incoming damage. Um, and then once it's they run out of valid targets from where they're sitting, um, they will the order will be canceled and you can immediately go on to the normal attack order or a, a, an attack station module order. Um, so just as an example, um, this Osaka cannot see the engines of the behemoth, it's facing the wrong way. So if I give it a um, attack engines order, um, it will fail. So as soon as I unpause, it's going to cancel the order, because it can't see it. Conversely, um, uh, this behemoth um, can see the engines. So if I give an attack engines command, it will persist and begin moving on to try to actually literally just shot the engines. Um, uh, and it will continue on as you would expect. Um, this Osaka probably can in fact shoot the main batteries if we would like. Um, yep, picks it up as valid. Um, uh, and this one can shoot um, let's see if it actually has sight engines. I'm, I don't think it does. Uh, it does. So, um, so they'll continue on. Um, the Osaka is trying to shoot out the main batteries. Um, I mean, from this range, it's not terribly precise. Um, again, I actually don't recommend using um, uh, destroyers to try to target subsystems um, effectively. Um, it, I, I would only really use them for hitting um, station turrets, uh, like large station turrets, but you have the option, you can proceed as you'd like. Um, but yeah, there we go. Anyway, so I'm going to post up a change log. Um, and I'm now, I have a public git that shows the, the changes so you can see exactly what I've done. Um, I will note that the, um, I have not in any way altered the UI, um, so like engine still shows up here even though it's not going to be a valid target. And the reason for that is because the, you can have multiple ships selected and maybe you've got a fighter in there that can pick, pick things off, um, or uh, do you have these three and it's valid for one target and not others um, and it would just get I, I think it would be confusing to drop things off the menu um, less confusing than issuing the order and having it like, cancelled um, at least is my assessment of the matter so just bear that in mind um, and oh good luck see you guys